Hi, my name is Zach Thornhill, and I am practicing drawing the head from different angles. So I was reading Figure Drawing for All It's Worth by Andrew Loomis, and um, part of that book is about doing the different angles of the head. So this practice is about that. I was inspired to do this practice after watching the video How to Draw Simple Faces by Mark Burnett, which was a great video that everybody should go watch. Um, and it really got my artistic fires going and got me motivated to, to do these sketches. My general idea for this head is an old man protagonist in a JRPG or an action RPG. I love JRPGs, but they're not really concerned with old people. What if someone who is 50 or older was actually the main person in a game? This could be the starting point for some interesting story conflict. Maybe there's someone from an older generation who sees how the world's going to hell. Maybe he lived in a time before security cameras, um, before massive surveillance of people by his government, and he's spending the game fighting different evil government officials to try and stop their domination. How would a game be different if an old man was the protagonist? Maybe his generation has blood on their hands. Perhaps they all fought in a war to expand their country's empire. And now that that empire is a thing of the past, the main character could go around the world seeing the horrible repercussions that empire had on all of the different places in this fantasy world. Maybe there's an old man whose children were murdered by the villains and he's spending the game pursuing the war criminals responsible only to find out halfway through that his soldier son wasn't actually killed in the war, but operated on and turned into a cyborg like Gray Fox or Raiden. Wouldn't that be a cool game? I am 32 years old. I just thought this would be a cool idea for a game, a way to do the story from a different perspective. But obviously I don't have any experience as an old person. I'm glad I don't yet. Think about all the older people in your life. There are probably quite a few things that you have strong disagreements on. Those differences only become greater as the years and the age gap increase. My little son just turned 15 months. How's he going to think of me when he's uh, third, when he's 32 and I'm um, 64? Uh, what differences are we going to have between us? And I just decided to start with an old man head. I guess because I'm a product of centuries of toxic masculinity, you know? But um, an old woman could actually make a really cool protagonist for a game also. What if there was an old woman who was a healer with her own clinic, teaching apprentice white mages to heal soldiers injured in combat? But then to go back to the other idea, maybe her son was a soldier and is kidnapped, so she has to don the old black mage robe from when she was a young woman and begin her journey to rescue him. But although she was a very talented black mage when she was younger, Magic and combat now don't come so easy since she's 60 years old. So then this could go back to the other idea also where she's going on this journey to rescue her son and 
she sees the effect that the army she was a part of in her youth had on this fantasy world, you know, all of the lives it touched and destroyed, and she has to come to grips with that. I sketched out the initial big shapes and construction lines with like a 4 age pencil because it's really light and then later on the more final concrete lines with a 2B pencil to get more definition. I'm not going to spend too much time on this initial drawing to try to make it look really nice and beautiful because that's always been my problem. I've tried to do something really impressive for every single drawing and that's a separate thing from the process of exploring ideas of doing iterations I recently stumbled across a website called androidarts.com and it's different concepts that this person I'm not sure if it's a man or a woman um, did for their take on different games whether it's zelda one or metroid one or um if there were to be a sequel for Mega Man legends and it was really inspiring to see all of these concepts all of these iterations um just over and over different designs 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 and that's the idea you know just to get the design out just to get the idea out and that's a different thing from trying to make a really beautiful uh illustration but I'll leave a link to that in the video notes and thank you for watching.